five killed and nine injured in Louisville bank shooting by employee live streaming the attack on social media. A shooting rampage at an old national bank in Louisville on Monday left five people dead and nine others injured, according to the police. The 23-year-old gunman, identified as Connor Sturgeon, was an employee at the bank and used a rifle in the attack while live streaming it on social media. The police shot and killed him at the scene, but it remains unclear whether he took his own life or was slain by law enforcement. Among the dead were Joshua Barrick, 40, Tiana Eckert, 57, Thomas Elliott, 63, Juliana Farmer, 45, and James Ted, 64. Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir became emotional at a news conference as he revealed that he knew some of the victims, including Elliot, who was a senior vice president at the bank. Two police officers were also among the founded, and a 26-year-old recent police academy graduate remained in critical condition after brain surgery. Sturgeon had worked as a full-time employee at the bank since 2022 as a portfolio banker. Having been an intern there for three summers, he had no prior contact with the police in Louisville, and his motive for the shooting is yet to be determined. The incident marked the latest in a long series of mass shootings in the U.S. and was broadcast live on social media. Mass shootings have become a common occurrence in the United States, with 146 incidents recorded so far in 2023, according to the non-profit Gun Violence Archive. In response to the tragedy, President Joe Biden called on Congress to pass legislation mandating safe storage of firearms, background checks for all gun sales, and ending gun manufacturers' immunity from liability. The incident follows similar live stream shootings, including the 2019 Christchurch mosque attacks in New Zealand and a racially motivated shooting at a Buffalo grocery store in May 2022.